now where the superintendent revealed the timeline for kids to return to face-to-face -face learning. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle continues our live team coverage. Ian. So originally they planned to begin their reopening on October 14th, but they got that same letter that Miami-Dade did. The state saying they want them to open on October 5th. So here in Broward County, they're going to be making a final decision on Thursday. We're caught in a very difficult um, spot. Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcie speaking the words the entire school board was thinking just days after the state said schools must reopen for in-person instruction more than a week before Broward had intended to. This is not something that the district has been sitting on. This just came to Mr. Runcie's desk. He shared it with the board and we are now um, sharing it with the public and acting as quickly as possible. The news comes only days after Broward School Board had voted to begin a staggered reopening by October 14th and opening fully for all grades by the following week. But on Monday, Florida Commissioner of Education Richard Corcoran said that wasn't soon enough and that classes needed to be reopened for in-person instruction by October 5th unless the district could provide detailed information on why they're delaying. In response, the board will be holding an emergency meeting on Thursday to hear feedback from the district, and they'll even discuss their legal options. We're re reviewing this with um, legal. Ms. Myrick has it. She's uh, working with her staff, um, looking, looking at the correspondence we received, um, the executive orders that have been issued uh, to see what um, options we have, and of course, our reopening plan, which was approved by the state. So right now, the superintendent saying he thinks they should move ahead with the timeline they already have. And then on Thursday, they will have that meeting at 1030. They're going to be getting feedback from across the district. He says they should reassess after they hear all of that feedback. And if they do listen to what the state says and they open when the state wants them to, we could see classroom learning happening again here in Broward County as early as next Monday. Of course, we will keep you updated again that meeting Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.